Right guys, so if you want to improve the length of your split jerk or learn how to stay more vertical through the dip, drive and catch, the drop the split with tactile feedback is a really good tool to use in your primers. So the movement itself looks like this. So this post here is going to force Stevie to have a more vertical dip position. Okay, so the common fault we'll see is the hips going back in this forward lean. It also is gonna teach a more vertical extension Okay, because it's gonna prevent him from jumping forward. And then whenever he moves into the split position, he has to stay vertical. Now, the important thing about this is whenever we're doing this, we need another target. We need to use a plate on the floor for uh, tactile feedback for the front leg. Because it's very easy for athletes to do this drill and jump away from the upright. Okay, and in turn, they can then start leaning forward again. So we want this plate to be almost a full foot length in front of your feet. And your goal is to split long enough to get your entire foot on the plate without hitting this post. This combination allows you to maintain balance and in a set position as you practice your split jerk. So what we encourage you to do in your weightlifting primers is to do two to three sets of three to five reps, just trying to dial in these positions before you move to a barbell. And if you do so, we guarantee you're gonna move way better in your split jerk in that session.